What is cracking, mother truckers? Hope y'all doing good. Check this out. Today, we're working on the old 64 Chevelle in the guy's dang garage. First things first, gotta get that fuel pump off. Gonna take the fuel pump off. Gonna drop the... Apologize. Uh, gonna drop the gas tank. I'm gonna take the air. I'm gonna blow out all the lines probably in between. There's gonna be a fuel filter somewhere. I'm gonna get that whole fuel system cleaned out. Got some longer and new fuel hose. Gonna put that on. Put a new freaking fuel filter on. Put the gas tank back up. Put some more gas up in the sun, bitch, because I think it's completely empty, and uh, we'll see if she runs. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> Why's it gotta be so cold? It's actually nicer out today, but it's like in the 50s. Not yet, anyway. It's still the morning, but all the damn tools gotta be freaking 12 degrees. Freaking freezing. There we go. He's loose. <laughs> that should do the trick. For sure. Need some new gosh dang hose clamps, man. These are just ugly. Yeah, you do new shiny chrome hose clamps. 12 more horsepower. Guaranteed. You heard it here first, ladies and gents. Shit's been on there for 20 freaking years. Damn. I'm just gonna cut this up, bitch. Replace it anyways. I'm sitting here trying to find a tool to cut that son bitch, but got a damn knife in my pocket. Sometimes when it's early in the morning, you just can't really think for yourself. I apologize for that. Ow. Here she blows. This is the old fuel pump. And uh, they delivered one this morning, and yeah, didn't really match up. Give him a part number. So I'm not really worried about putting the fuel pump in right now because I'm gonna blow out the lines and everything like that. Next thing I'm gonna drop the, or I'm gonna take that hose off, replace it with, this isn't it, a longer. There's, they had a foot on there and it was kinked kind of at the end like this. And you know, that's never really good. So I got two feet, so I'll just cut it how I need it. And two feet will actually probably be good and throw it on there. But um, working right now, Go drop that tank, and uh, pretty sure it's empty, so I don't think I'll, you know, there's just basically two straps on it, so see what we can do. I'm gonna take that uh, that line off first, though. Toy it like a toy gun, dude! It's almost there. So, let's go drop that damn tank. Let's go under here, and I'll show y'all what we're looking at. Hey, of course, you know, old school. Got the tank in the back here. Pretty cool. Seems hollow. We'll see. So, hey, buddy. What do you do? Oh, go. Oh, you're such a good boy. Oh, hi, Gracie. Oh, hi, Gracie. You're such a good girl. Oh, you're such a good girl. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, so if you guys come under here, here, give me the camera. I'll show them. Oh, dog hair. So, there's a strap screw there. Strap screw there. And then on the other side here, it's just those two. And then, and then we got the, oh shit, man, it's too dark. Got the fuel lines going right here. So, I'll just drop this son of a dick and see if we can blow them out. But holy shit, that line is rusted to dick, man. Wow. And I have a feeling that these are going to be an absolute pain in the dick to get off. I just have that feeling. Put the glasses on. Cause it's gonna be dirty. Oh God. Oh. Wow, this is on there. Oh. Holy shit, it's wanting to break. Honestly, I might just have to cut them strap bolts out cause they are not budging. And every time I put some pressure on it, they just want to break. So, I might just have to saw them right off and then I'll just replace them. It's not too hard but might just what I have to do to get it in. So I just called O'Reilly's. You know, this is the fuel pump that was in there. This is the one they gave me, it was for a 327. It was, I don't know, that was like, oh, this is the biggest one we have. And they sent it and I don't know why they sent that, but told them that I got a 396, they found it and I gave them this part number. And uh, 
they found a different one that's similar. So it says it'll be here at 2.30. So we'll go pick that up whenever uh, it comes in and see if that one will work. All right, well, we got about two hours till that fuel pump comes in. So we're gonna do some cleaning in the meantime. We're gonna clean off these windows here. Just sprayed some window cleaner on. They're all foggy and nasty looking. So might as well, while we're sitting here, make it look a little bit nicer and clean these windows up and see how they look. Maybe take some of these stickers off. Get it ready to go to the body shop. Look at the difference of these clean ass windows now. God dang. Took the stickers off. Got to uh, run some goo going on it, but uh, got all the windows clean. The old windows are clean. You can actually see inside now. Just taking the last sticker off, which is of course a pain in the dick. But just want, babe, don't eat this damn stickers. Get, get that dog will freaking eat anything. Ah, oh, 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 O'Reilly. Oh, oh, farts. All right, what's up? We're here at O'Reilly's gonna return this fuel pump, grab the other one. I'll be right back. All right, we're under the car. So I'm gonna drop this gas tank. So we got this hose here. I'm gonna take off. It's our main fuel line hose right here. And then we have this one hose right here. So I'll take these two off. Disconnect the ground right here, which it's literally just, I don't even know what to say about it. And then just unplug this from the tank here as well. You wanna make sure all these things are unplugged and everything before you drop the tank, cause you don't wanna freaking ruin them sons of dicks. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, let's do it. This son bitch been on there for about 10 goddamn years. So I don't know if it's gonna fucking break or just loosen. You son of a bitch. Oh, there she blows. Yeah. All right, we got those two loosened. I'll have to pull those off, which is gonna be fun. Then you also wanna unplug this thing here. This to the sending unit. I don't know why the fuck there's like this old paper and shit, but it should just pop right off. And then this ground here, oh, just like that. Tuck that back away, <laughs> up here. Ah! Shut up a bitch! Big old fucking piece! Yeah, man. Oh, I gotta make the ugliest faces when you get shit in your eye. Yeah. And then this ground is usually held on by a screw or something, but let me see that light. I think it's just twirled around a piece of metal or something. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I'll probably just take it out of there. I need you to go get me something that'll take that off, boy. Oh man, I might just get down some fuel right here. I'm about to replace these fuel hoses too. They're just cracking everywhere. Ugh. Oh, it's so old. Man, this fuel line is just kinked everywhere, too. Oh, you bitch, finally. One more to go. Fuck. This freaking wire, man. Them air shocks. Fuck it. Just cut it. Ugh. All right. Everything is loose. We got the vent tube off. We got the main fuel line off. We got the ground off. We got the sending unit off. And that is all that is hooked up here to this gas tank. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to cut these strap bolts here because I don't think they're gonna budge. I'm gonna try it with a deep socket and if it doesn't, I'm just cutting them. They're easy enough to replace. Oh, it's moving. 9 16th. Oh, it's moving. Let's see how this one does. Oh shit, that one. The whole thing's just, fuck. That one is pretty much rusted on there. This one's moving. Might be able to Hold it somehow. Damn vice grips or something. Vice grips, vice grips, vice grips, vice grips, vice grips, vice grips. There we go. God dang. Where my damn glasses at? All right, well, we're just gonna fucking cut the damn thing. Try it. When in doubt, cut it out. Well, there wasn't any fuel coming out over me and shit. I don't think there's anything in the damn gas tank. Hope not. When you drop this thing, you want to make sure this thing is uh, out of the way because, you know, you want to make sure this thing don't, you know, get hung up or nothing. But, uh, I'm not even going to bother putting a jack under there, honestly. Oh, fuck. Blade not long enough. Only problem is, you're cutting, could make sparks, and you got a gas tank right here. So, that's kind of scary, and I just took the fucking thing off, so fumes are everywhere. Probably the greatest idea. Yeah, I think, man. I don't know if I have like a brass chisel or something, I could just break that thing. Brass, when you're working around gas tanks, like when you're taking the sender off or something, use brass if you're gonna hit it a little bit, because brass does not spark. And then, you know, you might be able to save your beard or something. Oh, I might just say fuck it and do it, I don't know. Kind 
of scary, honestly. Doing that shit. Oh, they're wrestling. Pull out the training jack, just in case. Because even empty, it's still heavy. Now he wants to turn on me, you son of a bitch. Okay, we're unstrapped here. See what happens here. You wanna watch your tube. There she blows. All right, it's usually kind of funny to me because usually the sending unit's on top, but this one's like on the back, so it makes it kind of easier to get it. Because sometimes you gotta watch when you're dropping a gas tank, I think in the later years, like in the next five, six years, and these, these gas tanks in the rear, they're on top. So when you're dropping the sun bitch, you wanna make sure you stop halfway and disconnect so you don't pull that sun bitch out. And there goes the fucking gas tank. Sun bitch. All right, gas tank is out. Mass bro laws help. And we'll uh, probably set it up here and give you all a look inside, see what it looks like. Oh, there's still gas in it. All right, so this gas tank, you got your main fuel line here, your sending unit thing here, that's your, for your, going to your, uh, your gas gauge to tell you how much gas you got. Here's your, uh, look at this job on this freaking ground. You gotta love that. And this is your vent tube. Usually with these vent tubes, if you do, if like if just one coming out, uh, you'll have like a vented cap instead, like these caps on them, they say non-ventilated cap or ventilated cap, like, so it doesn't have a ventilated cap because it has this vent here. So anyways, I'm gonna take this sender off here in which definitely use brass because there is gas in there and you don't want to freaking, uh, you know, spark anything up. And then we'll kind of get a look inside and see what it looks like, which I'm not excited to see that. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna replace this whole gas tank here. So let's go ahead and check it out. Jesus Christ. All right, this is ridiculous. I don't know who did this before, but like, it's just all, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm just taking these freaking, I don't even know how I'm gonna be able to get this up bitch open. I mean, this inner ring needs to basically move counterclockwise and it's not even budging. Usually if that happens, means you just need a whole not gosh dang new tank and unit, just, just do it. So I'm gonna go order a new tank right now and uh, we'll throw her in there. Not too expensive. I mean, probably 120 bucks or something like that. Um, and we'll just get new everything. And, and then um, other than putting the new tank in and the new fuel pump, which they gave me a new fuel pump and it still is not the same thing. I don't know how I'm gonna find that, but uh, oh man, this thing's all dinged up as it is too. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna blow out the fuel lines with air, which probably won't do that today. We'll just do that whenever we're gonna install the stuff. Hmm, gracie. Gracie. So we make sure all the fuel lines and everything are clean and then we should be good to go. So I'm just gonna go order the new uh, pump. I'm gonna, or the, excuse me, the new tank. I'm gonna see if I could just try to find the fuel pump myself because O'Reilly's haven't been able to find it and uh, we'll see what happens after that. Also gotta get some new strap bolts here, man. That's for schedule. All right, hey, I know I told y'all mother truckers that, let me get some light in here. Ow, shot my elbow. Ow, shot my finger. I said, I told you guys my idea for wrapping the K20 once I get it started and everything like that. Because I want to wrap this son of a bitch. A lot of you, you know, most of you guys thought the orange camo was a good idea. This is the camo that I was thinking about, and this is the camo I want to do. Bam. It was on a mud jug many moons ago. This is a Kuyu pattern. This is not their actual pattern. We actually put the Kuyu pattern on a blaze orange. So get up and close in there, man. So you got some browns, you got some dark, dark greens, blacks. That is what I'm thinking for the K20 right there as a wrap. I think it'll be tits. It'll still have a lot of black in it and dark coloring with the offset of the of the blaze orange. So it'll still will go, you know, with the black wheels, the black, you know, the motor and, and still offset everything perfectly. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. I think it's gonna be tits money. All right, just sitting there on Summit Racing ordering the new tank. I'm trying to find one with a damn vent tube. Most of these are completely sealed with no vent, so I'm trying to find one with that. Uh, I think I just found one, but yeah, man. What a day. We got the uh, fuel pump out. We got the uh, gas tank out. The fuel pump that they gave me, um, again, is still wrong, so I've got to type in that part number and try to find it myself. But um, once I get 
the gas tank and the fuel pump and everything in. I'll go blow out the lines. I'll throw those in, put the new sender, sending unit in and everything like that. I'll fill it up with some gas and uh, we'll try it then. At least then I will be happy with uh, knowing that you know, the fuel lines and everything will be clean. So, hope y'all enjoyed that video. We'll have more videos coming up this week. If you did enjoy it, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. And if you ain't hit that freaking subscribe button yet, make sure to elbow drop that son of a dick. I love you sons of dicks. We'll see y'all in the next one. My name's Outlaw, and I'm out, y'all. 25, 8, 366. Keep it freaking Halle Berry, son. Holler. <laughs>